Hi and welcome to this third video on basics for robotics. So in this video I'm going to give you a very tiny tiny glimpse on the dynamics, robot dynamics. So what it is, why do we need it and how can you learn it? Um, so first thing, what it is. So robot dynamics is uh, the science of controlling robot joints, let's say uh, the arms, like the ones you're seeing here of our beloved butter robot, or legs like Spot the robot from Boston Dynamics, anything, but you're controlling it through uh, force and through con knowing the model of all the kinematics of the robot, the weight, the inertias, and with that you can control how it moves. You're not controlling through uh, encoders and knowing where the position is uh, directly. So you need that data, but you're controlling it through force. This allows you to make compliant robots. So for example, this robot could move the arm, but if it feels that there's a force, it can compensate. So it can pick up something. And if you put something on top, it will compensate to maintain that position. Yeah, dynamically. So basically, that's the main application. And so why do you need it? Because if you want to do this kind of applications, if you want to do robots that walk, robots that run, robots that manipulate stuff in an intelligent way, it's the way to go. And also, if you want to practice some math, it's also a very good place to start. So here, what we are going to do is a very simple example, which is calculating the um, that dynamic model of the robot of the in this case the robot arms and uh, through that we're going to uh, make it maintain a position or try to maintain the position okay so let me show you through the code a bit how this is made so Essentially, what we are doing is solving a differential equation, which is a model that is based on various assumptions. But the most, the most important assumption is that we are only moving in a plane. So the arms here will only move in the y axis. Let's say they only will rotate there and they won't move out outwards. Uh, that's a very big assumption, but from for the start, I think it's more than enough because this is a very deep topic and also it's quite complex in the mathematical terms. So uh, essentially what we do is we create a model and we solve a differential equation. And once we have it, based on the parameters of our robot arm in this case, which is a two link system with the length of the arm, the position of the center of mass of the, uh, of the first link, uh, then the mass, and then the inertia, which has to be calculated also. Uh, we can calculate the inertia through various methods and they are everything that I'm explaining here it's explained much in detail in this course on robot dynamics and control so if if you're interested in this have a look at this course because it helped me a lot to get started at least in this very tiny tiny demo yeah and so here we calculate this inertia for the, the arm, the part, this part here. Let me show you. 
this part here, this one, and then we do the same thing with the lower part, which would be the one here. Yeah. And once we have it, then it calculates the parameters and essentially it solves and gives us a matrix. So let me just show you. Uh, let me, there we go. So there you go. So at the end, what we have is we specify the, the point of equilibrium. So the point in which we want to maintain the arms. So in this case, zero, zero, which is the, the arms upwards. And then after calculating and solving the differential equation, we have these parameters that we will use to do a very basic, very crude a linear controller through dynamics yeah uh, everything that you see here all the calculations most of it it's used through symbolic computation in python if you want to know more i leave in the video description uh, a link to this page which uh, gives you a very good tutorial on how to use it yeah so once we have this, this values, we then put it in our linear controller. So let me have a look here to my linear controller. There we go. So my linear controller will, will use those parameters that I've calculated through the differential equation solve a solution and what I'll do here is I'll give it a very tiny effort and then it will try to maintain the position of equilibrium. Okay, so let me just show you. And there you go. So as you can see, it's not perfect for various reasons, mainly because I, I didn't put the exact amount of, of, of the positions of the inertias and also because the model I'm adding here a mass that it's not included in the model. So it could change the dynamics, of course. But with a, a bit of tuning, you could get it to work quite well. And take into account that, that this is controlling itself only through dynamics, through the, the, a model and through a dynamics. So it's, it's quite interesting, quite cool. And that's, that's it for today. So uh, if you want to know the details all the steps and extra exercises and how to calculate trajectories, everything, you can go to this course on robot dynamics and control. And yeah, that's all for today. So thanks a lot for seeing the video and see you in the next video. Bye.